हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज तुमका वेलकम्स यू ऑल टू दिस सेशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू सॉल्व द गवर्निंग क्वेश्चन फॉर वन डायमेंशनल स्टडी स्टेट हीट कंडक्शन विदाउट एनी एनर्जी सोर्स और हीट जनरेशन सोर्स सो इफ यू लुक दिस पर्टिकुलर equation that is d2 t by dx2 so this is a one dimensional heat conduction equation now we want to solve this how to solve this so what we'll be doing is we uh, will be using finite difference to solve this particular equation in the last uh, lecture we have already seen that how to use uh, finite difference for the evaluation of uh, the slope at any particular point using forward moving forward backward or when uh, or uh, evaluating it centrally it has also been discussed with you that how to find out the second derivative uh, of the function using the finite difference and this is second order accurate that means having good accuracy so let us take this uh, particular equation and we want to solve this so let me quickly import the image so so this is the problem in hand so let me increase the width and this height a little bit okay so this is the one now you look you consider a rod of uh, 0.1 meter length and uh, this rod assume that there is no variation of temperature across the cross yeah along the cross cross section the only variation is along the length of this particular rod and uh, we are also assuming that this rod is in steady state condition so uh, the temperature will not be the function of time so at any particular time or if at if you are at any particular location say you are here then the temperature will remain uh, the same there throughout it will not change but what we you know want to know is we want to know the variation of the temperature along the length of this particular rod so this is a one dimensional problem in hand let us say that the boundary conditions which are given to us they are dirichlet that is fixed temperatures are there and on the left side it is 100 on the right side it is 50 so how to proceed what we will be doing uh, we know that this is a continuous function temperature should be continuous but for the sake of numerical computation what we do we assume that this particular temperature variation uh, i know at the discrete points at Uh, what are the discrete points here these all are discrete points so how to start so first thing first we have to uh, develop an array of temperatures along this particular length and then we'll be assuming that initially everywhere temperature is zero except at the left end and the right end then we will be solving the uh, the equation that is this ti plus 1 minus 2ti plus ti minus 1 by delta x is equal to 0 and which will be resulting this inside that is from node this till node this because these are boundary nodes where the information is already known to us so to code this particular problem you should understand from where this particular has come so this is a second derivative and in the last lecture i have shown to you that how to write the second derivative Uh, using finite difference that is function x plus h minus 2 function at the value at the point plus function x minus h that is backward so this is what i have written here so if this is the ith location or the ith node then function x plus h will be i plus 1th and x minus h will be i minus 1th and then divided by 
the this i'm sorry there is a problem this is delta x square it should be delta x square here not delta x please make the correction this is delta x square and that is zero ultimately this will be going here and you will be getting this you will be getting rid of this delta x but you should remember that is this is delta x square now to solve this what we'll be doing is first i'll be defining the length of domain so i have already told you that how to use symbol as a variable so let's say l that is length is 0 0.1 length of this particular domain is 0 0.1 meters now what else is required so how many nodes are there so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So in totality, 14 number of nodes I have taken. You can increase the number from 14 to 40 or to 400. The more the nodes, the more the discrete points, the lesser the spacing between them and more will be the, uh, the closer you will be to the exact solution. So what is delta x? Delta x will be the length divided by number of nodes minus 1. So if you have a rod and you divide it into two equal parts, then how many nodes will be there? 3. Okay. So 3 nodes, 2 equal parts. Likewise, 4 nodes and so on. So that will always be L by N minus 1. Now, what else is required? So for this, I want a temperature array. So for that matter, what I'll be doing is I'll be calling it NumPy instead uh, from PyLab import everything because PyLab already have this NumPy. So now let us make the temperature array. So this is zeros of n. So I have told you that what this zeros of n will do, it will create an array of numbers uh, zero. Let me give you a glimpse of it first let us run this then zeros of let us say five so this is one two three four five so five elements are there and all are zero so that is what zeros means so we we are creating an array of temperature from here to here and every element is zero but you know that the left element is having a temperature of 100 and the right element is having a temperature of 50. Now, in an array, the leftmost element that if this is the array, then the leftmost element is having index 0 and the rightmost element that is the last element can be called by saying minus 1. So that is what we have done here. Now, once this is done, now you assume that there is an error function which is 1. What is this? Error means the value which I am getting right now for this particular node, let us say, or this ith node, and the value which was previously there, the difference of the, those, the, that is what the error is. What I'll be doing, I'll be finding out the difference at each node and then summing up so that I can get the global error for this particular uh, rod. Now, at the same time, I'm assuming a convergence criteria. Let us say, that this is uh, 10 to the power minus 6. If the error is less than 10 to the power minus 6, then I will be saying that the problem the program has converged. No problem. Now start. While this uh, error is more than this uh, epsilon, then what I will be saying? That the that you move into the loop. That means the, the, the final answer has not yet appeared. So this is the one. Then what I have to do here is for each and every look, for each and every node, I have to move from here because this is already known to me from here till here I have to move. And then I have to repeat the procedure, find out there and repeat the procedure. So for that matter, I have to use the loop for i in range 1 to n minus 1. And then what I have to do is I have to find out this value ti that is ti plus 1 plus t i minus 1 by 2 that's it what this loop will do this will move from the first node till the n minus 1th node and evaluate the value of every node based on the 
previous value but remember what it will be doing is it will be evaluating every let us say it has it is there so it at this point the temperature value will be evaluated based on 100 plus 0 by 2 next it will not be taking 0 0 because now this has become 50 so 50 plus 0 by 2 and in this way it will proceed so i also want a reference from where i can compare so let us say that that reference is t old and that is what i'll be doing is i'll be copying every element of this t array okay now once this is done every element every node has been covered up then i have to find out the error so that is the sum of the absolute value of t minus t old so if this is lesser then what has to be done uh, if this is more than the convergence criteria then again the loop will follow and this is an infinite loop so this condition has to be met every time once this is done what i'll be doing is i will be uh, evaluating uh, i'll be plotting this error let us say so for that matter i have to use a counters count so let us say count is equal to zero and uh, i have to plot this uh, count and this error with let us say some black color and then once this is done then what i have to do for the next iteration this t will become the initial guess so this is what the guess is initially i have assumed everything to be zero except the boundaries so i will be keeping as such i will be copying this i will be bringing it down please mind the indentation so that is done so so this is your main loop where you are iterating over this is the error evaluation this is the plotting of uh, your error and then uh, this is the updation of your uh, sorry this is not the one this has to be copied sorry updation of your uh, old with the new so that i can compare in later stages so once this is done what i can even i can uh, name this figure as figure one and then let us move to uh, figure two so here this is the final one where i'll be plotting my result x and t with some red color and circular marker now what is x x has not been defined yet so there's a function lin space i have already explained to you so x is equal to lin space from zero to l and how many nodes n so in this way i can solve the simple problem oh i haven't said show so now this is the error now what is the problem because counter is not increasing so i have to change it every time count is equal to count plus one as well as let me call this as uh, x label um, the length and gth and the y label is the temperature so now this is how the error is reducing and this is the temperature versus length and you know in case of steady state one dimensional problem with no heat generation the variation of temperature is linear so that's why you are getting a line so in this way you can code the finite uh, code the one dimensional heat conduction problem using finite difference so let me again recapitulate what i have told you so first you will be defining the length of the domain the number of nodes in which you want to divide the domain then you will be evaluating the spacing between the domain and spacing between the nodes so i have assumed equal spacing and then what you should do you should then define the x x is what x is varying from zero to the length at every node this will be in, uh, storing the information the the point or the location of the node then you develop this temperature array initialize it with zeros some initial guess and give the boundary condition so these are basically the boundary conditions once this is done then you will be copying this whole array into the 
new some arrays let us say old t old i am saying because this is what with which your uh, code will be comparing every time then you set an array counter as one because not counter the value of error is one so that it can move into the loop and then this is the convergence criteria 10 to the power minus 6 if you want more precision then you can move to 10 to the power minus 8 or 10 then this is the iteration counter that how many iterations have taken place and then you will be moving into the while loop so while this condition is met you continuously perform this action what is the action for every node you evaluate ti except the boundary node that is 0th and nth and then uh, you evaluate this and then once this is done you find out the error sum of the absolute of the differences then you plot the error and then if the convergence is met it will be coming out but if not then what to do we have to uh, make the new values uh, obtained here as the guess for the next iteration and in this way this will follow sometimes some people do what they instead of plotting this they plot semi log y so that you can view the error uh, in a better way like this so that's all for this particular lecture in the next lecture we'll be trying to solve the same problem but but with uh, heat generation so thank you very much for watching the video take care